Hey you doing, I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. For many, a cruise is the ultimate vacation, but for these unlucky travellers it was a frightening experience. Here are 10 creepy ghost sightings that took place on haunted cruise ships. But before we get into it, remember to hit that subscribe button for more awesome creepy content just like this. A mother and daughter had a spooky encounter while staying aboard the Brilliance of the Seas. On the final morning of their cruise, the mother woke to find her 15 year old daughter standing eerily in the centre of the room watching her. She called out to her daughter and asked what she was doing. Her daughter answered, but to her surprise, her daughter's voice came from the couch behind her. The mother looked again, but the shadowy figure she mistook for her daughter was gone. A short time later, both mum and her daughter were awake and getting dressed to leave when the TV suddenly turned on by itself. The channels kept changing as if someone was cycling through them. This freaked both of them out as the remote was sitting on the bed untouched. Following this, they were both overwhelmed by the sudden stench of rotten eggs. The mother peered out into the hall to see if she could find the source of the smell. That's when she heard two staff members next door struggling to open a storage door. The mother overheard one of them telling the other that it was like someone was holding the door shut from the inside. For the mother, this was the last straw. She grabbed her daughter and they immediately checked out several hours before they were supposed to. A woman aboard the cruise ship Carnival Conquest had a frightening experience when a spectral intruder appeared in her cabin. It was five in the afternoon and the woman and her husband had just finished getting dressed up for dinner. As she inspected herself in the mirror, the woman heard something that made the hair on the back of her neck stand up. It was a gruff male voice whispering the words, You look beautiful tonight. At first the woman assumed it was her loving husband putting on a voice, but when she turned around she saw he was still outside on the balcony with the door shut. She then looked at the TV but it was on the menu channel with the sound muted. She shrugged it off and assumed it probably came from somewhere out in the hall. But as she continued getting ready the woman heard the creepy compliment again. This time there was no doubt it had come from inside the cabin, so she raced out onto the balcony to tell her husband. The invisible entity didn't speak again, but what was particularly disturbing about this experience was that it happened on the same night that a disgruntled male passenger threw himself overboard. The Queen Mary is history's most infamous haunted cruise ship. Many of the people who have been aboard it claim to have seen the ghost of deceased officer William Eric Stark. As the story goes, Stark stole a bottle of gin one night to liven up his watch. But when he started to drink it, he realised it wasn't gin, it was a powerful cleaning fluid called tetrachloride. Stark laughed off his mistake, but he soon became violently ill. He died within days and many believe his ghost still lingers around the main deck. Crew members and passengers alike say you can hear unexplainable choking sounds on chilly evenings when no one is around. Many believe these are the dying sounds of poor William Stark. A mother and daughter were enjoying some well-deserved R&R on a small but intimate cruise liner known as the Thompson Celebration. To kill some time, they decided to pay a visit to the ship's luxury cinema. The theatre was completely empty, so they took a seat towards the back. Ten minutes into their film, the mother and daughter saw the silhouettes of three people enter. These late arrivals walked the entire length of the theatre as though they were looking for a seat. This was strange because there were clearly plenty of free seats available. The mysterious figures eventually stopped at the row that was directly behind where the mother and daughter were sitting. They shuffled in to take their seats and the daughter felt them bump the back of her chair. She started feeling uneasy and whispered to her mother that they should get up and leave. As the mother and daughter stood up to leave, they took one last look behind them. The anonymous figures were suddenly nowhere to be seen, it was like they had completely vanished. In 2005, a man vacationing with his son on the cruise ship the Thompson Destiny got the fright of his life when he woke to a stranger in his cabin. It all started when the man, who is normally a heavy sleeper, was awoken by the sound of his wardrobe doors swinging open. He sat up and saw a man with shoulder length hair and an unfamiliar uniform rummaging through his things. The man shouted for him to stop and the stranger dived headfirst into the wardrobe. The startled traveller immediately leapt out of his bed to investigate, but of course there was no trace of the intruder. 
This was physically impossible as the open wardrobe doors were blocking the main exit. The man was understandably shaken by this encounter, but he managed to get back to sleep. But his ordeal wasn't over yet. A few hours later, he was awoken again, this time by his young son. The boy shot up in bed and started speaking in a strange and unfamiliar voice. The boy said, you don't care about the people on this ship, and then suddenly fell back to sleep. The man had always been highly skeptical about the existence of ghosts, but the strange events of this night definitely changed his opinion. The Queen Mary is home to another commonly sighted spirit, one the locals call the Lady in White. According to the stories, the Lady in White was once a young and beautiful woman who loved dancing in the ship's salon before her life was tragically cut short. Nowadays, her restless spirit has been seen in the salon and lobby areas. She often appears beside a large grand piano dancing to music no one can hear, and she can be identified by her distinctive long flowing evening gown. One passenger on a ghost tour reportedly followed her ghost into the elevator area, but by the time they caught up to her, the lady in white had vanished. Jacqueline, Jackie, Turin and Sarah were two little girls who tragically drowned aboard the Queen Mary sometime in the early 1940s. They were five and eight years old. Because of the sudden circumstances of their passing, the girl's spirit are thought to have remained on board the Queen Mary. Several of the ship's staff have claimed to hear unexplainable singing, giggling and even audible answers to their questions. They believe this is the spirit of Jackie, who was known to like playing games and interacting with passengers. According to paranormal investigators, Sarah's spirit is thought to be more reserved. She is protective of Jackie and can be temperamental or even aggressive at times. Visitors who have come to the pool area at night have reportedly received strong, sharp slaps from an unseen entity. This is believed to be Sarah. Paranormal investigators have determined that after a few slaps, Sarah becomes used to a visitor's presence and will generally leave them alone. John Petter, aka Half Hatch Harry, is another memorable spirit that haunts the regal Queen Mary. He's an 18 year old firefighter who died under mysterious circumstances in 1966. Petter was crushed by a heavy door during a routine fire drill. The watertight door, which was marked number 13, took 60 seconds to close, leaving some to speculate that he was held down and murdered. Whatever the truth of the matter, Petter is considered something of a celebrity by staff of the Queen Mary. He's not shy about making his presence known and often terrifies passengers during ghost tours. One woman had a particularly memorable sighting of Half Hatch Harry. As the tour was passing through a hallway, the woman felt her clothing being tugged on by an unseen force. The force appeared to be guiding her towards the notorious door number 13. The woman looked around to see if anyone was there, but saw no one. When she looked back, she saw a large ominous handprint appear on door number 13. At that moment, a chill ran down her spine and she decided to exit the tour early. On October 2, 1942, there was a tragedy on the high seas when the Queen Mary collided with the HMS Karakoa. 300 crew members died in the collision and the Karakoa sank within six minutes. To this day, guests aboard the Queen Mary regularly wake up to phantom sounds of screaming and water rushing into the ship. One family was awoken by the sound of yelling and screaming every morning at exactly 3am. One family member was so sure there was a boat drill taking place that they ran out of their cabin to wake up their neighbours. But the moment he stepped out of his room, he realised the boat was silent and that all other passengers were sound asleep. Could this strange phenomenon be connected to the spirits of the Karakoa's drowned crew? We may never know. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a room that was sealed shut by staff because of poltergeist activity, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be completely up to date with all our latest creepy content. By now, it's obvious the Queen Mary was the site of a lot of pain and paranormal activity, but she has one more skeleton in her tragedy-filled closet, room number B340. This room is so full of dark malevolent energy that staff were forced to officially close it to prevent guests from staying in it. 
Room B340 was once the location of an intense and vicious murder, which may explain why it receives a lot of poltergeist activity. Before its closure, many guests requested to change rooms after being subjected to aggressive supernatural encounters. One passenger heard a clear and menacing voice ordering him to get out. This was followed by the lights and faucet in the room turning on and off at random, and the covers being violently ripped from the bed as the guest lay there terrified. Because of this and other incidents like it, staff had no choice but to seal the room off and remove its cabin number to prevent any other guests from being harmed or terrorised. Well, there's another episode in the can. Thank you so much for watching. Now, in the comments section below, let us know some topics you'd like to see made into a video in the future. Remember to slap that upward facing thumb as well because it lets us know you're enjoying the content. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time.